What up guys, this is Alex with GuitarForce.com As you can see today we're going to take a look at Pretty Little Ditty by Red Hot Chili Peppers off of their uh, Mother's uh, Milk album and uh, this lesson is going to combine kind of two um, different versions of this song, of this instrumental. The one is from the studio version and the other is uh, uh, from uh, different live versions and pretty much they're exactly the same, the sections are exactly the same although uh, the uh, studio version is a little bit shorter during live versions they play it a little bit uh, you know more extended uh, but pretty much the the sections are the same I'm gonna show you different licks and the feels that John is playing during uh, the live versions um, so the tabs and the backing track are gonna be available at guitarforce.com for free and uh, the tuning for this uh, instrumental for this lesson is gonna be standard um, and uh, also for the sound, I was using the same thing, the VST plug-in guitar rig, and I'm going to show you the picture of the preset right now. And while you're checking it out, I'm going to play you my low E string so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's go for the close-up. Let's first of all check out the first few sections of the instrumental, then we're going to come back and break it down. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first part from the album starts off with just these two chords. The first one is D minor 7. Looks like this, going to C major. And we play it in a specific rhythm, so we have... Okay, so nothing too complicated here. Just going from D minor 7 to C major with a specific rhythm. Uh, now, during the live versions, they would start with the next um, section, so they will swap around and they will play two rounds of that, but uh, from the album it's a little bit shorter, so they would start with this one. And then we go into the next uh, section, which goes like this. <laughs> So this is from the album version, so we start off, we're going to be playing here triads, starting off with the C triad, so it's exactly the same thing here on the 5th fret. Uh, we're not playing the root notes, so in other words, not the full chord, but just the triads. Then we have this triad, which is actually an F in a C shape form. But we, again, we're not playing the root note, so we just have this. So it's uh, 7 on D, 5 on G, and 6 on the B string. And then we take this shape and we move it up to frets, which is a G, but again without the root note. So we have... Uh, then we have another... A hammer on here. So uh, we're hammering on from the C triad on the fifth fret again to the F, and then we add the tremolo bar uh, just to you know to use it for a dive for the quick like that, and then pull off to C again. Then we repeat it one more time like that. So this is on the studio version. On the uh, during the live performances, John would play some tricks. Would add to this section, so he would play just uh, harmonics here. So he would play the chord, the triad, and then would tap with his finger on the 17th fret 
of these uh, B, G and D strings because these are the harmonics so it's 12 frets above right and get these harmonics again would we'll play the sequence then would we'll get back to the C major top harmonics and then you can add either with the tremolo bar you know pulling up or what he would do is he would return to the chord and then would press behind the nut these strings to you know to raise the pitch like that then would we'll play again sorry it's just like that okay so the second time and um, uh, during the live versions they would go into the ne next section, the previous section actually, so they would play uh, two rounds of that. Uh, during the live performance they would play it only once and then in the end they have a quick little feel which is, you know, these hammer-ons pull-offs. So what we do here, it's all based on a C major chord right here and also the pentatonic. So he would play some double stops so the first one frets in the high E and the B strings on the uh, eighth fret, and then hammer on on the B string tenth fret and pull off, and then go to G string ninth fret. I'm sorry, tenth fret. So this is like a suspended fourth chord, right? Then he would play on the G and the B strings. So it would be. Uh, G9 fret and the B string 8 fret. Then he would hammer on on the G string 9, 10, 9, going to 10 on the D string. And then the last one is going to be. So we go to, to this position of the pentatonic, and now we play um, on the D string. It's 10 frets, and also, you know, if you get the uh, G on the 10, it's alright. So would hammer on on the D string 10, 12, 10, and then would slide out from the 12th fret on the A string. So all together slowly would be like this. And then go to the first section. Um, now during the cover playthrough I did a uh, variation uh, what John does sometimes at uh, the live performances. So I, I was playing it like this. Okay, so as you can see, a slightly different, differently playing to the to this part. So he would play the D note, which is on the fifth fret on the A string, and then would play the chord, and then would go to the C triad. Then we have, which is kind of like a passing note here uh, on the A string, going from. 7 to the 5th fret, so the first uh, feel that we have is going, is going like this. Right? Then we get back to the, again, to the single note here on the 5th on the fret of the A string. Then we'll play the same thing. And then we have this feel. So it's a slide on the G string from 7 to 9 and then we pick 8 on the B string. Sometimes he would play it, uh, the B string or sometimes he would play it the high E. Uh, thus playing the 6th here or the 3rd. Like that. Or... Sorry, one more time. Like that. And then the last feel. So again playing the single note, then the chord to the C triad, and then we have so he would pick the G string on the seventh fret, and then we'll play trill between five and seven. Like that. And then again, just to finish it off, so from the D um, minor seven to the C triad, and then we'll go into the next section.
Okay, so in the first section of this last part, we're just playing some single notes. So it starts off with a 14 on the G string, then we go 13 on B, 12 on high E, then we have a bend and release on a 15th fret of the B string. So I have this. Then we have 14 on G again. Then we play 12, 14 on G. And then last note is going to be on a 12 on the D string. Then we repeat the first part, so it goes again 14 on G, 13 on B, 12 on high E. And this time we have 15 on the high E, 15 on B string. So that's uh, the variation here. Then we have 14 on G, 12. Then we have 13 on B, 12 on uh, the D string. So one more time. Alright, so after that we'll go into the last section of the song and we have a chord progression going on. So the first chord is going to be A, then we'll go to C, and then we'll go to D. A and C we play for one bar each and the D we play for two bars. Now the little trick that John does goes like this. So what we do here is we play the chord and then we have pull-offs on the high E string with the pinky from 7th fret to the 5th in A in this position. Then we do the same in on the B string and then we play twice two pull-offs on the G string. So we have this. Then we pick the chord again. We slide into the C and we do the same thing with the pinky. And then we do the same for the D. So the, for the first bar when we stay in D we played exactly like the previous set, uh, chords. So with the uh, pull-offs on the high E, B and the G. And then the second bar he would, um, he would play different variations here. But usually he would... Uh, uh, play the pull-off on the B string and then we'll play random rhythm staying on this chord. Then again, uh, going back to the A, C and the D, uh, same thing repeats. Uh, he plays little variations, especially on the C chord, so when he would get here, Things like that. So he would play the first two pull-offs on the high E and the B, and then he would play this slick, which is uh, bending B string on the 10th fret. As, and as you bend it up, you pick the high E on the 10th as well, and then bring down the bend. Okay? Then we would slide to D, and again, same thing uh, we play here with the pull-offs. And like I said, uh, there are a couple of licks that he does on the second bar usually. So, uh, one variation it would be like this. So he would play the pull-off on the B string, and then would play, which is hammer-on on the G string, 10 to 11, and then would pick the high E on the 10th fret. Like that, kind of repetitively. Or sometimes he would play, which is um, hammer on on the 10 to 12 on the B string, and then pick the high E on the 10th fret. So, different variations here. Um, so, again, one more time, just to show you um, Slowly goes like this.
right, guys. So this brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, comment, share, subscribe if you are new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar-related stuff. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy. And as always, let the force be with you.